all right what's up guys welcome to the channel so in the previous video we created this GUI file using PyQt and then we converted this file into a Python code now in this video I'm going to show you how to use that Python code that PyQt GUI file and incorporate it into your own Python programming so for this tutorial we're going to be creating a simple login um, application that once you log in it will take you to another page for example so now before we start I want to just point out something it's a very good idea to name your you your application window here yeah, using the object's name see I've named my idea I've called it login window so now I've also created another window this is the window that once we log in we will be able to enter this window and be able to update data on this window this window is called dashboard it is just an invoice generating window for us to be able to generate invoice document and i've also named the window dashboard window for my convenience so now let's go into the code so now if you see you can see now i have the login file i have three files here I have the login file one, I have the dashboard file, which is the same UI file after converting it. If you don't know how to do that, you can watch the previous video where I converted them to Python files. And then I have an empty file called main. This is where we are going to be writing our business logic, our code that will bring functionality to these GUI files. So if I just come here and run the GUI file you'll see that we it opens the GUI file but then all of this is just should I say non-functional at the moment because it is just plain GUI now our goal is to make sure that once the user inputs the data username and password and they are correct and it clicks login it opens a new dashboard window and closes the previous window which is the login window so now to do this we have to understand a few things about this gi code <coughs> firstly we are going to import this dashboard um, file into the login file we are going to import this class this ui dashboard window class because that is the class that we will be calling once we are once we sign up, sign in into the website, into the application. So I'll say from from dash import, and you can see import dashboard window. Now we we can access this dashboard window inside this login file. And now the next thing we will do is that we will create a function here yeah. inside this function once the details have been authenticated we will call this function it is this function that will run that dashboard window so now i define a function i will just come here and uh, let's call the function dash self and then now if you come down here to the dashboard code down here you see that this this code right here is what is used to open the dashboard and this code right here in the dashboard window below this code is what is used to start up this GUI this dashboard GUI and so we will just have to understand one or two things here about this code I will copy this part I will copy these four lines and uh, paste them in our login function. Let's hold on a bit. Now, I'll raise this, I'll call it self.window2. Now, we've created a variable called self.window2, and then that variable we are assigning that Qt we get dot q main window to that variable now 
We also created a variable called UI, and then that variable we're assigning UI dashboard window, which is which is that this class here in the dashboard file. Now we want to um, run that function, the setup UI function, which is inside this class setup UI function. So we say UI dot setup UI. Now instead of dashboard window, we'll assign window self dot window two like so. And then what's the last thing to do there is to is to show the window say self dot window two dot show. <coughs> All right. All right. So remember, we are copying this class, and that is what we are importing here. So we have no errors. So when we authenticate, we will call this function, and it is this function that we start the dashboard file the with guys we named them we gave this one username we gave this one password and then we gave this one login underscore button now it is those um, names we are going to use to access them in the file here so now just above this retranslate function i'll say self dot dot login underscore button that's the name of the button dot click dot uh, connect and then now what this is saying is that once the button is clicked I want to be able to run a function and then I will just call the function action then I'll define the function here action <coughs> then I want the function to take self now and I'll just print walking and then if I run this code you'll see that once I click the button we, we have the print statement working so that that means the button is working now i'll just clear that. come back here now we're going to create another function here and this function is going to be called process this function is going to take all the process that we require to make this code functional so let me just pass pass the function now we will import the function into this login file at the top here so from login import process and now we we'll come down here inside the action file inside the action file we will call that process function and then we will pass it some data because those are the data that we will be able to use to authenticate the user we'll pass it to the process function inside the main file so I'll first pass self I'll pass self dot username dot text you remember we called our self dot username dot text if you remember we called our GUI username I will also pass self dot password dot text as I'm sending the username sending the password as well so I think that will be all
and then I will also send one last thing and that's going to be the login window and I'll show you why so now once the button is clicked it will run this function called action and once the action function is run it will run this function called process this function called process is inside the main file yeah and this process takes how many variables it takes self it takes self dot okay let's say it takes username password and also login and that's called window like so all right so now I'll just print username okay so now I'll print the username and the password in this function so if I run this login UI you'll see once I write my username and the password and click the button login we are able to get the 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 username and password that's it's a kind of sign mode so it works so now from there we can now authenticate the file by saying if username is equal to user and password equals to user that's if the username and the password equals to user i want to perform um, these functions so i'll just say print print correct and then the next thing is this you know we pass the self and self helps us to be able to access everything that is within the class which includes the dash function so this is where we'll be able to say self dot dash and then save that we are calling the dash function inside the main dot pi file and then if i run that and i say user user login you see we are able to open a new window just like that but the previous window is still open so how do we get to close the previous window after we have authenticated successfully we we'll just say login underscore window dot close and then save that that is why i passed the login here at the initial so if i run it again and then just a minute user user login and then you can see the previous window is closed we only have one window which is the dashboard window which is what we were trying to achieve so that is it that is how to authenticate and change windows using PyQt and using your PyQt file and your main code so all that functionalities can be written here in this main.py file so that is it guys thank you so much for watching if you are new to the channel subscribe to the channel there will be more content like this i'll see you in the next one peace